friends about your bum. So you have to do something. Yes, you like you need to have sense. <laughs> because you know you will be going out and then she will be he will be managing you mm. buy you this cheap cheap burger. <laughs> Do not hit me. I'm a soft woman, so I do not want your hands on me. If it's not for romance, do not put them on me. That's it. There's different between like you're 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 trying to be conscious and everything. Yeah. But yeah. not carrying calculator for me anytime. Yeah. I'm like no, no, I... it, But you shouldn't put me under a budget, budget, budget like that. There's like budget get true, levels. True, true. Yeah. But is as a man, you need to have money because relationships are expensive. Mm. What do you think about female friendship? I hate it. Jealousy. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm so excited for this video because it's been a long time coming. Finally, guys, I'm so excited. I have the gorgeous, the most amazing ladies in the house, okay? This beautiful, gorgeous, amazing, sumptuous ladies in the house. Over here, I have with <laughs> me Favor. What's that? Your, your YouTube channel name now, Zom. Unduka, uh -huh. Chinaza, Favor. You hear that? Come again. Unduka, Chinaza, Favor. Favor. And over here, guys, you already know how. You already know what time it is. Pina Mom in the building. Yeah, this is Pina Mom in Nigeria. So, guys, today, ignore the background noise. Like, this is Nigeria. It's, it's, it's difficult being a content creator here because one yeah. thing or the other will always, you know, work against you. But, anyways, Today, guys, I'm just going to be chatting with my friends. We have, I have, we have Boga, and we also have this, uh, what's it called? Like, Fiesta. Fiesta. Guys, let me show you. We have Fiesta here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Honestly, this is my first time trying this. So, <laughs> I'm going to try and start with the one I ha I know. Yes. So, yeah, I also have Boga. Same thing here. Guys, uh, we don't this is Bogart. Yeah, Yay. baby, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to like we're just going to be chatting basically. So I have some little like questions I would like to throw to them here and there. Let me open this. One. I like to throw to them here and there. So yeah, that's it. Like <clears throat> let's just start. In first of all, can we pray? Oh Lord, bless this food for us as it is in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So yeah, now let's start. The first questions I have with them. Guys, everything we're going to discuss here today is going to be other relationships, like relationship with God, relationship with friends, just relationship in general. And um, content creation, right? Being like relationship with content creation. So first of all, guys, the first question I have here is dating. Okay, with the site I'm excited Ooh. for this one. Like honestly, I'm, a, I'm very, very excited because I've never. This is not something I've ever discussed on my channel before. So the first question I have here is uh, dating. What do you look for in a man? What do you look for in a man? You know when men say um like they look, they are looking for a wife material, yeah. a wife material. So you guys, what do you look for in a man? Husband material. <laughs> They're looking for husband material. Not, of course. Yeah, they said that there's a difference between a boy and a man. So we were looking for a man. A mm. man who really wants to have a family with you, who will love you, and that's it. For me, I think what, I, what I'm looking for in a man is, you know, consistency. Because I think that's one thing men really, you know, um, do not keep. Um, some men are really, really inconsistent. No disrespect to um, men, but yeah, some are really, really inconsistent. Then I think, for, as a lady, what I look for in a man is um, security and selflessness. Because most men are really, really selfish. They think about their self. So um, for me to go into anything with a man, the man has to show some level of selflessness and some you know, some ability to, you know, take care of me and, you know, for me to feel secured. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> nice, but for me, first of all, like, you know the normal, the basic things, like everyone say, I need a, I need a God-fearing man, a loving, a caring, a good man. Yeah, I need all of that, like, those are the basic, like, they, there's no, like, <laughs> questions. 
there's no question about that like okay you have to be god fearing you have to you have to be loving caring mm-hmm. patient understanding mm-hmm. but aside from that to be honest i need a man that can cook like, yeah honestly yeah. i need a man that can do the like a wife a husband material like that can cook that can do house chores that can they can do these things without feeling like it's the responsibility it's of the woman. woman. Yeah, like I did a initially growing up, I used to be like, cause I I did a food and nutrition in school, and then growing up, I used to be like, hey, I don't want any man man I will marry in this life to know how to cook. I used to be like that, like I don't know, I don't want the more, the man I will marry to know how to cook, so that I will use food to do younger, to do like to form, so that when he gets me angry, I will starve him. But right now, baby, <laughs> if you don't know how to cook, please move for the next. <laughs> I don't want it because I just I I need a mother kind of I think things. every I think they know how to cook men. But the, you know some they take it like it's the responsibility of a woman to do that. Hmm. This is a very controversial one. This next question, right, is a very controversial one. I feel some women feel like nobody should ask them that question. Huh. But at the end of the day, men some men do ask, what do you bring to the table hmm. as a woman? Like, I don't know, like, do you think as a woman you should, my question now is not what do you bring to the table. My question is as a woman, do you think you need to bring anything to the table? You want to go first? Do you need to bring anything to the table as a woman in a relationship? Relationship, not even marriage. Even in marriage, okay. In, yeah. Okay, so I will, talk, I will talk about being married because I'm married. Yeah. So, you know, when you get into marriage, it's, um... It's not, it's not a one man um, journey. It's the two of you, right? Yeah. So that means that as a wife, I have something to bring in the table. Now, it's not just all about sex. Yeah. Yeah. You will take care of your husband. You will take care of your kids. Um, and I uh, have you ever heard of that uh, saying that in every man there's a strong woman, right? In every behind su- every, every, every successful yes, man. Yes. Behind every successful man. Yes. So I, I really believe that because um, without the man, the, uh, without the woman, um, the man will feel so weak. That's why they said that a woman should encourage their husband. They are the source of motivation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So don't 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 belittle yourself because you're a woman. You think that you don't have anything yeah. to give. You have so much. You have so much to give. Yeah. Um, for me, um, I think for me, yeah, as a woman going into a relationship, not even marriage, but because it starts from relationships, right? You don't just get married. So it's what you are doing in a relationship. That's what we amplify. I don't know if that English is correct though. But that's what we amplify when you get married. So as a woman, you have to be, you have to work to be important to the man because men tr- that's why um men actually treat women like trash because they don't see your use they don't see your importance so as a woman you have to make work yourself to be important so the man can you know um value you and you know you know some men when they want to do anything they're like oh let me talk to my wife first because yeah, they feel yeah. like oh their wife can come to their rescue or mm-hmm. you know have something to say not just money not just anything nobody cares about your bomb so you have to do something yeah. In the marriage and relationship. Sometimes it's your upstairs. Eh? Yes, you like have. you need to have sense. <laughs> yeah, like you need to have sense. Okay, for me, like what do women bring to the table? Like what should women bring to the table? I think you guys have said it all. Like first of all, you are the table. Let's start from there, okay? Nobody should ask you what you bring. I'm the table. What are you saying? <laughs> okay? Yeah, but then yeah, then you should have something. I don't see like oh you know those days they feel like women are just like stay at home and then breed children that is not there is more to a woman than that you understand the support alone you give to your husband is something or your partner whoever like your partner the support you give to him is enough like he goes to work he's having a bad day you coming back coming back to a home you are the home yeah, I think yeah. women are the home. Don't yes. ask me what I bring to the table. Without me, you will not even you don't even have a house to come into. Yeah. You understand? Like if I don't make the house you want to come into after having a bad day outside, if I don't make it a home, 
You will yeah. still not have peace in this world. The man views the house, the woman makes it a, a home. A home, you yeah. get. So I bring a lot to the table. That's for me. So the next question, guys, in case you see us eating anyhow, I'm hungry. <laughs> me especially. I've been out all day. I'm hungry. Anyways, the next question is, what are your deal breakers in your relationship? In relationship, what are your deal breakers? I don't like stingy men. <laughs> Straight. Yeah. Straight to the yeah. point. Because it's so annoying. Because you know you will be going out and then she will be he will be managing you, mm. buy you this cheap cheap burger. <laughs> They don't want to bring up money. What if one day um, my parents will need help because she's stingy? He won't. He won't give money and then. Yeah. You know, That's there's, true. there's a lot. There's a lot of points. things uh, yeah. that that is in being stingy. Mm-hmm. It's okay to be mindful in how you spend money. Yeah. yeah. But st- stingy men are different. Stingy person is different. That's true. So that's yeah. why I don't want. I don't like stingy. For me though, I think I'll go with Pina. I do not like stingy men. Don't be stingy around me because I don't like when men give more than um, expected. For example, to the home, you have to take care of your wife and your kids. Don't be say okay because she's a woman, she has to bring something to the table. So, yeah, I do not like stingy men. Then um, the next one for me is abuse. Verbal abuse, you know, physical abuse is a no-no for yes. me. Do not hit me. I'm a soft woman. So I do not want your hands on me. If it's not for romance, do not put them on me. That's it. Oh, you know? <laughs> yeah, 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 that is so nice. If it's not in romance, yeah. for me, for me, yeah. she like, I feel, I will go, I will really go with that, your point, Pinamo, like, stinginess, bros. Back your load and go. Back your just, load and go. Just, back just load go. And go. Like there's different between like you're 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 trying to be conscious and everything. Yeah. yeah. But not carrying calculator for me anytime. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no. like oh, let's say now we are going out. Now you're telling me, okay, how much how much do you think people yes. are going to spend there? Yes. I don't know how much I'm going to spend there. I have a budget, but. You shouldn't put me under a budget, budget, budget like that. There's like budget get true, levels. True, true. You understand? Yeah. I don't like like stinginess and then cheating. Cheating for me is like is a no brain like is a no brainer. Like we can't argue that, bros. It's okay. We are done. What like he, what if he knows how to hide his cheating? If he knows, th- I, I, that's a point, right? I feel no for me, I don't think there's a way. But he can hide it forever. You know? I don't think there's a way, guys. He I feel hide women. Except you are not looking into your relationship or your marriage yes you're not looking into it very well because the signs will always be there just that we ignore it yeah we ignore the signs most of the time we see these little things red flags we see these red flags we don't just want because of love and whatever yeah and then because of you know the 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 way they glamorize men like men are everything if you should go now how will i get another one how will i go and start up another relationship Mm -hmm. because of all of that you keep you know taking shit Mm -hmm. but to be honest, I feel for me cheating is out of it. Like there's no there's no question about that. Like mm-hmm. we can't argue that. Then the next one is what is your advice to someone in a relationship or someone looking to go into a relationship? What advice would you give to them? My advice. Mm. Um my advice to those who wants to be uh, to go into a relationship. Don't go into a relationship. <laughs> Have you have you ever heard a woman say that uh, I wish I didn't get married? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Because they 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 will start to miss what kind of person they are they were before they got married. Yeah. Because when you got married, everything will be different. You are building a home. Mm-hmm. You will be with someone. Mm-hmm. You will you will take care of kids. It's like you abandoned whatever person you are before because because That's you true. are you know. Mm, that's true. Yeah. Then I, I think um, for me, yeah, um, I agree with what she said. And another one is as a man, you need to have money because relationships are expensive. Marriage is expensive. Do not go into marriage um, with nothing thinking, oh, it's just going to be God. Then um, as a woman, you, ha- you need to develop yourself. 
properly because you never know who you are going to get married to. Yeah. Not even about knowing who you are going to get married to. You need to develop yourself for yourself. You need to um, build yourself as a woman, get a skill, learn something, do something, and you know, yeah, that's it for me. For me, guys, like what I, I want to start from where Pinamon, what Pinamon said, like most women. Like she just said, don't go into a relationship because a lot of women lose themselves in relationship. That's where my problem. I think it's not just women, even men. <laughs> that even okay, let's say even men. That's where my problem comes. Like that's one thing that scares me about marriage. Mm-hmm. You understand? I don't want to lose myself. I don't want to. I don't want to forget. I don't want to abandon the life I want to live. I don't want to abandon me. Because yeah. I'm a human. At the end of the day, when I die and go to heaven, it's me personally God will talk to. He's not going to talk to my children, my yes. husband, my whole family. Yeah. You understand? I, I need, for me, I will say, you need, for advice to someone, shall will be that, if, if you want to go into a relationship, look for someone that will not make you lose yourself in a relationship. Because for yeah. me, that's a deal breaker. Yeah. I don't want to lose myself. I want to go out. I love traveling. I love, love, love traveling. Right now, I've not even gotten married. I don't know when I'm going to get married. But I'm still thinking, like, how will this work with my traveling? Mm. How will it affect my kids? How will it affect my relationship? Yeah, yeah. I need a man that will understand that I love it. It's not because yeah. it's a job for me. It's because this is my hobby. Yeah. I love it. So... He will now try to, okay, let's build something around us. Mm -hmm. Let's see how you can still do this traveling and, you know, take care of your home as a woman. Don't tell me that I'm getting married so I have to cover (laughs) my my, my traveling (laughs) and then carry Rapam. No, go After three months, that baby doll, we have to do something. We have to. That's me. I don't want to lose myself in a mm. relationship. And I will advise that. Because it gets to a point that you can't handle it anymore. Yeah. You can, you just break. Like, you, lose you know when you see your mate achieving things that you want to yeah. achieve? You want to do these things, but society is telling you that you are a woman, you are married, you cannot yeah. do it. Your husband is telling you you are a woman, you are a married woman, and you cannot do it. Like, yeah. then you, you are a man. Sometimes it doesn't affect men the way it affects women. Let's be honest. Like, Men can still do whatever they want. To. They can still live their dreams. I think dreams. because as as a married person, you um, as a married woman, they expect you to obey your husband whatever he tells you. You are going to do. So if he tells you do not travel, you shouldn't travel. That's why you need to choose your mate because yes, if you someone, have a controlling mate, you, yeah, you can't oh do anything. Oh my god, that's it. I don't want to control. Yeah. I uh, see. I love freedom. Yes, yes. Freedom is my name. Let me tell you guys. I love freedom. I don't want to control anyone, no one should control me. I, I, I know we should, like, we are accountable to each other at some point, you know? But there is there is an instant. I need to have my personal life in a relationship. So for me, I would say, look for someone that loves you for who you are and want to support yeah. your dream and support yeah. whatever you want to be. And you should That's be true. the same thing to someone else. So now we are heading to another one. Another one, this is friendship, Loma friendship, guys. How would you rate yourself in a friendship? Would you say you're a good friend? Would you I'm call a yourself friend. a good friend? I don't think I'm a good friend. Okay, why? Because I'm kind of possessive. If you're my friend, you're my friend. And then mm. once I need you and you can't come to me, I will feel bad. Aww. And mm. yeah, because there are times that you really need a friend, right? And then it, it turns out that you have a fake friend that knows that you are struggling and they can't go to you for help. You know, they can't help you emotionally talking about experience okay <laughs> you're like you know you need their help you need their their presence and then they can't give it to you then you will get disappointed then that's it that's that's the end of us mm-hmm. because yeah for a friend you need to be there right all right mm-hmm. but you give excuses that you can't go you can't come to me and then it, and uh in the end of the day i will just know that you are with someone else you went there partying and I am here, so sad, crying, and yeah, I'm a possessive friend, so it's a bad thing. But as possessive as I am, I know how to treasure friends. Okay, so Favo. For me, I don't know if I'm a good friend, that's the truth, because honestly, I've never really had so many friends. I think I had just one friend um, from secondary school to this very moment. So other friends oh, actually came nice. from her. 
like those were her friends so they automatically became my friend i do not make friends and um um i don't know i don't know if i'm a good friend to her honestly for me i'm not a good friend that's just like i'm not a good friend like i'm a very i'm a very i'm an ambivert right like i love to be alone and I, I function well when i'm alone right so and then like pina mom said friendship is demanding is demanding you need to call you need to check on you need to yeah. you need to be there and i'm not i'm not that type that will always be there for someone like like now even as i'm talking to you there are friends that have been calling me since three weeks ago for me like come 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 i told them i'm writing an exam and now i don't finish exam i've yeah. not still been able to go and see them oh gosh, they're gonna watch your vlog and they will be... yeah they'll be like oh so you've been in worry all this while and you did not come to... like i'm a very like a friendship is demanding for me sometimes i feel like whoa i'm not your boyfriend why should i be calling you every day I'm like that's how i, I feel think, like I, I think that's where i have my strength i call a lot yeah i'm, I'm not that type evening, and i don't know how to chat i don't know how to like before i chat it must be for a reason like okay what are yeah, we talking about i'm not that like i don't ca i don't chat casually i don't i'm not like that's why i say i'm not a good friend like i'm not a good friend because people and i i have from some friends that and the thing is, because you don't call, people feel like, oh, we are no longer friends again. But in my mind, no, we are friends. Okay. In my mind, we are friends. Then when I meet them sometime, someday, because we've not been talking again, they feel like, mm -mm. and inside my mind, we are still friends. And I'm not seeing anything wrong with not calling. But then they are saying they are saying something wrong. wrong. Yeah. And then they've already like, I'm no longer their friend. And then when we meet somewhere, or we are to meet, I have this ginger of, this is my friend, and then, oh, oh. And they, they themselves yeah, they just like already. Yeah, so... Yeah, I'm not a good, I'm not, I'm not a good friend. Like, I'm a very alone. Like, I'm an abivat. I, I actually prepare myself to go and meet people. <laughs> I like, I prepare my mind to go and meet people. I told you, like, when you let me even tell you, when you said you were bringing a friend, I told Pina mom, I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I'm going to feel like when this person is around. Cause for you guys, I've been talking with you guys. Like, yeah. I've been flowing. So this is just like a random person from nowhere. I don't know how I'm going to react. Yeah. I don't know how I'm. So that's it. I'm not a good friend. Period. <laughs> it's okay, Mary. We're all good, friend. What is a good friendship to you? Okay, what is a good friendship to you? Um, support. For me, mm. if you call yourself my friend, you have to support me. Regardless. That's what friends do. Yeah. Mm. What is a good what, what is a good friend? Mm. Uh, who is a good friend to you? Who is a good friend to mm. you? Who would you call a good those, friend? Those those who who really those who make friends with me for the sake of making friendship really mm. not because they want to use me for something oh my god because i really mm. have that experience i mm. have trust issue mm. i have trust issue because every time someone will come to me i will accept them mm. and my my acceptance is so pure like we're mm. friends yeah in the end of the day i will just know that they are using oh me for my something. god so it's so heartbreaking that's why right now i don't have friends guys <laughs> like, like friends real real friends for me like this thing you said eh, i feel I'm, I'm suffering from me that's why i kind of like excluded myself yeah. Cause I used to be like I used to trust so much. Like if you tell me this is A, I'll this is A, this, this is, is A. a yeah. Let's say you tell me this is A, mm -hmm. and then Pina Mom come to my back and say, "Are you sure that in favor said is A?" I will be angry with Pina Mom. How? Why would you even think that she's yeah, lying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. she lying? <laughs> like yeah. I I used to be that friend. Yes. I the reason I I stopped being friends with people like I just started being alone and I got used to being alone is because. I, I fought a lot for friendship. Mm. Oh my god. All the breakups I've had are with female friends. Female friends. Like, you dare not tell me that. Like, you cannot you, you cannot come. Favor is my friend. You cannot do it to anything you like to favor. Like, you, you cannot treat favor as trash in my presence. I will okay. beat you. We will I fight. That, yeah. I will fight. If ever should call me hello, Mary, somebody's. Eh? There was one eh, from Abraka, the girl, the guy was in Agbo, from Abraka, I went from Abraka straight to Agbo to the boy's father's house to go and fight. So, and, and at the end of the day, I always find out that the, the, the they people I'm fighting same. for are yeah. liars. It's not even, I'm not even, I, I don't even care if you are fighting for me, that's not my business. Like, the thing is, what, the reason I'm fighting for, when they find out, they find out that the girl is at fault. Mm. And I'm like, boy, you, that means you lied, like, I hate lies, like, 
so you lied and you allowed me like i'm fooling myself mm. so because of that like friendship is like please carry your wallet and go yeah, so yeah. friendship well for me i i think good friendship is understanding like understanding when this understand that this person wants to be alone at this point there's nothing wrong that that doesn't mean you guys are not friends understand that this person need you at this point yeah you can yes. be there understand like understanding is one thing for me you have to understand let's talk mm-hmm. female friendships guys female friendships hmm. what about it mm-hmm. <laughs> what do you think about female friendships i hate it jealousy <laughs> jealousy yeah. and um, backbiting the they will talk how that puts it now they will talk good about you mm-hmm. when you are there yeah and when you are not there they're saying something different they're always jealous of you but some sha on a low key yo, but some will show it to your face that they are very jealous of you female friendship is world war i don't like like female friendship is a scam i don't it's feel scam. like that what they say women supporting women is a scam it's true it's a scam like let's not women, just try women to empowerment it's a scam women don't like women i can't count how many t- you know when you look good as a girl you're going out and then for me i used to be like how my brain is wired i see some someone that is looking good i'm like oh wow you look good yeah. you see the girl will frown the face i'm like, I'm like we're not fighting we're not just one boyfriend <laughs> i just saw you on the way and like you are you are you good i have to say you, are, you look good like what's mm-hmm. there like and then when you look good you know you look good people have already told you you look good and then you go to a guy you see your girls not wanting to give you that you look good kind of thing like what she's trying to form now like i bet you now what she's, what she's trying to like women eh, they don't like each other like they don't support each other we are always envious of each other low-key no matter how we try to say oh i'm free i'm this a lot of women a lot of girls are envious of each other we yeah. have this cold war that we fight between ourselves that we, sometimes true. we try not to make it obvious yeah. some yeah. do make it obvious though. some do make it obvious but yeah. i even prefer the ones that make it obvious so you will know who is. yeah to the ones that will be like huh, huh, and then at your back they'll be oh god no yeah. that one is yeah, so yeah, okay now the next question is who would you rather have male friends or female friends none no. <laughs> she loves to be out i love she gives her answer like like no 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 even men no you know but i think guys are more, more you know why i don't like guys because they will end up liking you like romantically oh, no, and no, i don't no. like, like it so I'd, I'd rather be alone just have acquaintances but no friends not all i think i have a friend that we've been friend for we'll be friends for like um 10 years i think and we've never liked each other just hi hi what's up nice, right? i have i prefer male friends like most of the friendships i've i've had and i'm still i i, I still have to date are with male friends like i have friends that we've been friends for like 10 15 years yeah. we are still cool and i feel i understand male friendships more because yeah. it's not demanding yeah, it's, it's really not demanding. Yeah, yeah, they're not emotional. Not, that's true. Yeah, they're that's not true. emotional. They are not expecting me to yeah. call them. They are not yeah. expecting me to visit them. Mm-hmm. And when we still see, we vibe like the best friends that we are. That's mm-hmm. it. Even if a year we do not talk to each other, when we still see, we are still best friends. Like yeah. it's not demanding. I prefer like oh, oh, most of my friends are male. Like someone said, um, someone said, um, you can you can be a friend with a guy and miss his wedding. But yes, to a girl, girl. Oh my she god, never they don't to want a war. It's a war. Open. Like, no, you can't do that. God. Now, let's talk relationship with God, guys. If you see me looking down, it's because I, I have a nose, know. okay? All right, so now let's talk relationship with God. How would you rate a relationship with God? Like, guys, well, yeah? I think the um, relationship with God for me, I'll rate it 7 over 10 uh, because. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Maybe Fina should go first. Mm. <laughs> well, I would say my relationship with God is still um like I'm trying my best. I want to have this relationship with him. But it's not where it's way not where I want it to be, honestly. But you know, I'm trying to make conscious efforts. Like conscious efforts to have this good relationship with him. So I always like talk to him every day. Like at least I have to talk to God every day. So yeah, that's it. Like it's not it's not perfect. It's not where I want it to be. It's still growing. Okay. So how important do you think relationship with God is? Very important, cause um you need you for certain things you actually need God 
to do certain things you actually need to call on god there are things you can't do on your own in fact almost everything you can't even do on your own except um with god so i think you you need to um, keep your relationship with god 100 percent yeah yeah for me i feel it's very 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 important like i can't even stress that enough like having someone supreme yeah that you can you can trust with all your heart and talk to Mm -hmm. is really important to me because i can't trust you man i like i cannot trust you man who else should i trust Mm -hmm. like i need i need to i need to trust i need to trust someone with all my heart for me to you know i need someone i can trust with all my heart so i need that's why i need god okay okay guys this next one is for content creation okay so how do you think content creation can affect relationship right like relationship with fellow content creators and their relationship with other people that are not content creators um i think you can uh, find a balance you can actually be friends with um content creators and the ones that are not content creators like before i came here i actually went to visit some of my friends before i came here it's not a more that you must visit them but still keep in touch because you never you never can you never can tell yeah. one day you will need them too so it's not just um friends with content creators for me you have to be just you know how do you think it can affect your relationship how do you think content creator being a content creator can affect can affect your relationship with people like people that are not content creators and people i think it actually makes my relationship with people better right yeah because i want to i want them to know me as a content creator so i try as much as possible to show myself to them so it actually um gets my relationship better with them okay so for me i think um pinamo like for me i think um like it affects relationship with people sometimes both in a positive and negative way i put it like that negative and positive way okay Mm -hmm. let's go on to the next one like how would you identify how do you identify that this is a content creator friend and this is a real friend like how do you separate content creator friend from a real friend and at what point do you think someone that that is a content creator friend cannot turn to a real friend because you know friendship starts from somewhere you meet people from yeah. somewhere before they turn into like that's your ride or die okay okay <laughs> okay for me i would say that like how, how like how you identify that this is a real friend i feel how i try to separate real friends from content creator friends is you know most times i feel content creators meet to create content like we just we are friends for creation for content creation aside from that like we've not gotten to that level where i can come and tell you how i yeah Yeah, things i want to be like i and we've not even gotten to that point where you can come to my house anyhow you can like we have to have a purpose yeah for our friendship the French the purpose of this friendship is content creation yeah. and I feel it's, there's nothing wrong with that yeah. right yeah. then at a point you still have you see I try to know that okay this friend is a friend that I can call on oh hello so, so, so you know or hello are you at home I'm coming oh hello I miss you know this is a real friend someone I can someone I can call and talk to at any point so yeah that's it for me so as a content creator, do you, guys, we want to try and rush this. As a content creator, do you think you can, you need friends outside content creation, like friends that are not content creators? Do you think you need friends like that? I don't know, but for me, what what um, friendship is to me is having moving people with the same goals. For example, um, if I'm doing something and this person is doing so, this person has an interest in doing the same thing that I'm doing. I think we we'll, we we'll, um be more compatible uh meet for a purpose friendship doesn't have to be oh i just want to go to this person's house to chill no mm-hmm. you need to have something so yeah that's i think what, that's the kind of friendship I like. yeah I, I, I don't i don't think you should separate content creators friends from your normal friends so uh, yeah for I me know. i also feel i will go contrary to that i feel you also need friends outside content creation yeah you do but like you separating know, them like uh, yeah you can actually separate them we are content creators yeah. i have friends that are not content creators that are not friends with you so i can actually separate this okay sometimes well, we can meet like maybe i come here now i come with my friends that are not content creators you guys can vibe but 
I you need to separate the. How do you to, separate them? That yeah, the sense. separation is you need to know like the purpose. This is the reason I'm friends with this person, right? I'm not going to come and start telling you my whole life, everything I need. I'm no, going no. to tell that things I will discuss with this person that is not. Yeah. I can't discuss it with you because we've not yeah, gotten to that true. level. We are just content creator friends. Yes. We create content together. We we'll vibe. We we'll go for events together. But this person is like. Your friend, friend you understand yeah, yeah so i that's, that's just true, the that's separation true. for me so okay now guys this one is a very good one okay as a content creator how do you balance friendships how do you make real time for real friends and families and not try to create content from everything yeah i guess that's why i don't have um content in my in my mm, channel. channel because i'm the kind of person who lives in the moment Mm. Because if I will try to record create content. Or create content on what is happening, I will miss out the fun and everything. That's the problem. Especially with when in, when I have my kids with me, mm-hmm. I can't just ignore the fun, you know. So I will be there. I will be physically present. Yeah. Because if I will do content, it's like my spirit is not there, right? Because yeah. I'm busy creating content. So I'm yeah. more on creating memories in my brain, not in. <laughs> social media yeah. right yeah you i think you have to balance it you have to know w- when to do this and when not to do this yes. there are other times okay for me now for um, um, example um i just have my dad who is alone a single person so when i go home i'm always you know taking care of him i can't say oh because i'm creating content i can't cook for my dad or i can't do something so i also try to make videos at night so that's me trying to find a balance. So I attend to family first, then content creating comes later. For yeah, me. for me, it's all about balance. I try to, like, to be honest, I know, even if I want to go out tomorrow, I know that this place, this, the, the phone there is going to be blast. Once I've said I want to go out and have fun, because most of the time, as content creators, you feel you're having fun, you're not having fun, you're missing out in the moment. So when I want to have fun, I want to have fun. I'm not creating any content for nobody. Yes. That's just it. Let's say we are going out for family vacation or just like family outing, going out with friends, and I, I want to go out. I want to really enjoy the moment. Mm. Bro, we are, I'm not creating content. I'm, I'm doing everything they are doing there. I'm not thinking yeah. about my YouTube channel. So most times I do that for my mm. mental health because most times when I go out, I try to vlog for YouTube. But sometimes I'll be like, this is for me. Yeah. You understand? And then for siblings, families, relatives that don't want to appear in the vlog, why should I make you appear in the vlog? I don't have to create content from everyone. Like my family, they are they are life like they, they they are lifestyle people. They don't care. My dad can appear. If my if I want to make a video with my dad, he doesn't really care. Like he yeah. would appear. He's that kind of person. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I should put my camera in their faces all the time. All the time. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Any anything we are doing, we are I'm vlogging about it. They are eating. <laughs> they are doing this. No, so because at a point it gets overwhelming, like starts, yeah. yeah. So that's it for me. Then, um, this question can you date or marry a fellow content creator? Yeah, it's for you guys. I, I think, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's saying that because she's married. Okay, I think for me, yeah, I think I would love to, um, date someone that has the same goals as me. That's why I say for friendship, too. I think I would like someone that has the same goals with me to get married to someone that has the same goals with me because that person understands where I'm coming from yeah. when I'm trying to create content it's not like oh why are you creating why are you doing this why yes. he understands that yes is for a good reason you are you actually love doing this, this is what she she likes can you marry a youtuber of course that's what I'm saying that I can marry a youtuber for because me he guys me. no way Period. Why? I cannot. I cannot even date you. Why you cannot tell me hello? Why? No, I don't want it. Cause, like I said before, I need a separation from content creation. When I want to relax, when I'm not thinking, well, you know, content creation can be frustrating. It's yeah. draining. It can make you lose your mind and lose mm-hmm. yourself. So I need a partner that is not into it. Of course, you can post things on social media. Let's say your work, but don't be a YouTuber. No, be. No, don't become. I get my money from like I want you to do other work. Of course, there are other things no, you, you can do. Um, you you can just be a YouTuber and not do other things. No, you what I mean like no. Else. Even if you are, I, I don't want you to. Be, I, I cannot marry a YouTuber. I cannot marry Instagram. Like I cannot marry an influencer. 
I cannot because he's he's troubled and troubled. No, I want our that's it. Like me, I cannot work in the same office with my husband. I cannot do the same business with my husband. I don't like. Okay, it. so you think um this point that you made that you are troubled and he's troubled. You think it can't happen when you have different jobs. When we have different jobs, he can I can come in from an outsider trying to understand. Like he can poison. Like and then you can when, you cannot understand when you're not into. No, what he's I don't. Doing. I, I don't even know how to explain this, but I cannot even. You see, a content creator cannot tell me hello. And yeah, another thing, I, I hate. You and know, your future do, husband is. I'm man. telling you, so I pray about it. I don't want it. I don't want it. It's not my vibe. I don't like it. Just like I, yeah. The worst is I cannot see a guy that is doing like this on Snapchat on video, on YouTube, on Snapchat. Me, I come and for what? If you do your tongue and yeah. Aside from that, I cannot really date. Like, it's not. There's nothing wrong with it, but I can't. I don't like it. I don't. I. I don't want that. So, any advice for content cre- creators? Any oh, advice so for content creators? Like, advice on like being a content creator. Like, just generally, like even anything. I think it's you who needs to give advice. <laughs> you need to advise both of us that is just me starting. especially i don't understand you are a youtuber you already a youtuber you already a content creator so give advice to someone looking to go into youtube it's not easy as it, you think yeah well, it's not easy yeah. As think. yeah like the deeper the, you know when you, they say the, 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 the more you see the more you go the less you see abi the, the more you look the, the, less you the see. more you look the less you see is it gets deeper and deeper and deeper you think you've crossed this milestone the, another milestone like there's a stage you get so you don't want to come down from that stage and then you keep going and going like yeah. it's a circle it keeps moving so you have to try and balance it like don't make your world revolve around it don't let your happiness revolve around being a youtuber because it, it's it's draining so yeah that's it for me don't just try to make it balance i hope you guys enjoyed this video please head over to Nazuka, Chinaza, Favor. <laughs> head over to our channel, okay? You know your name is too long. Please <laughs> head over to Favor's channel and subscribe, okay? She has a dope content over there. Head over to Pina Mom, Pina Mom in Nigeria. Head over to her channel, subscribe to her channel and watch the videos, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, the Double M Gang. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Thank you. Peace out.